Good evening, Dr. Phil here. Today we will be discussing on etomidate. Chemistry of etomidate. It is a carboxylated imidazole introduced in 1972. The chemical name is d ethyl one alpha metabenzyl imidazole 5 carboxylate It is a pure R-dextroenantiomer, which is water-soluble but unstable in water. It can be formulated in a clear echo solution containing propylene glycol 35% to improve the stability of the solution. Being a high osmolarity organic solvent, this results in adverse effects. The pH of the propylene glycol solution is 8.1 and it should be administered in a large vein to reduce the incidence of pain on injection. Newer preparation presents atomidate as a lipid formulation containing medium-chain triglycerides and soybean oil, known as etomidate lupiro. Etomidate lupiro comes in ampules containing 20 mg of etomidate in 10 ml at a concentration of 2 mg per ml. Derivatives of etomidate include methoxycarbonyl etomidate, MOC etomidate, which has a high cardiovascular stability and interferes only transiently with steroidogenesis, and carboatomidate, which has a reduced adrenal cortical suppression due to its modified imidazole ring. Indications for atomidate includes induction of general anesthesia in adults or children, and it leads to rapid loss of consciousness within one arm brain circulation time. Atomidate is used to achieve cardio stability during induction of general anesthesia, which is particularly important in hypovolemic patients, patients with limited cardiac reserves such as in heart failure, and it causes minimal histamine release and low incidence of hypersensitivity as well. Contraindications to etomidate includes airway obstruction, adrenal insufficiency, etomidate cannot be used for maintenance of anesthesia, nor long-term infusions for sedation in intensive care due to its effects on steroid metabolism. Etomidate is contraindicated in porphyria, as it increases delta ALA synthetase and it is unsafe in porphyria. Atomidate does not trigger malignant hyperparaxia. The mechanism of action of etomidate, it enhances inhibitory synaptic transmission by activation of the chloride channel on the beta-1 subunit of the GABA-A receptor. Dosage of etomidate, the IV dose is 0.3 mg per kg. For obese patients, Use lean body weight, which plateaus at 100 kg for males and 70 kg for females. Atomidate can also be used per rectal at 6 mg per kg. Pharmacokinetics of Atomidate It is 75% protein bound and has a volume of distribution of 2 to 4.5 liters per kg. The distribution half life is 2 to 4 minutes and elimination half life is 2.4 to 5 hours. Accumulation is minimal with repeated doses. Distribution and clearance of etomidate may be altered by concomitant administration of fentanyl. Etomidate is metabolized by ester hydrolysis and N-D-alkalization in the liver to inactive compounds and it is excreted renally. 2% is excreted unchanged. Pharmacodynamics Central nervous system Atomidate produces a rapid loss of consciousness. The duration of action is typically 2 to 3 minutes after single dose, but can last up to 8 minutes. Recovery to awareness occurs predominantly due to redistribution. However, it is also eliminated rapidly from the body. Atomidate can cause myoclonus. EEG displays no epileptiform activity. Cerebral perfusion pressure is not significantly affected. Atomidate has no analgesic effects. Cardiovascular system. Atomidate causes negligible change in blood pressure and heart rate at standard doses. However, large doses may cause tachycardia. There is minimal myocardial depression. However, Doppler studies show that cardiac index actually falls minimally, but systemic vascular resistance rises, which is mediated by alpha-2b adrenal receptors in the vascular smooth muscle. The balance of the
the myocardial oxygen supply and demand is maintained, and atominate is particularly suitable for patients with limited cardiovascular reserve. Respiratory system The respiratory depressant effects are transient and less pronounced than is caused by barbiturate or propofol, and atominate does not inhibit hypoxic pulmonary vasoconstriction. Thiopental does not inhibit hypoxic pulmonary vasoconstriction as well. Atomidate causes emetic effects and this results in high incidence of post-op nausea vomiting. Regarding the hepatorenal system, atomidate does not cause significant effect on the hepatorenal function. Cirrhotic patients may metabolize atomidate normally, but the volume of distribution is doubled in some studies, thus resulting in prolonged elimination half-lives. Since atomidate is metabolized by the liver and eliminated by the kidney, Use caution when administering atomidate in patients with liver and kidney disease, and these patients may require reduced doses. Atomidate causes decrease in intraocular pressure. In obstetrics, atomidate crosses the placenta and uptake by the fetus is complete. There is minimal change in uterine blood flow and dose-dependent reduction in uterine tone occurs in animal studies. However, its use during labor and obstetric delivery is not recommended because sufficient data are not available to support the use of etomidate in this setting. Etomidate potentiates the effects of neuromuscular blockers. Adverse effects of etomidate Adrenal cortical suppression Etomidate is one of the most potent inhibitors of steroid production that has been synthesized. It inhibits steroidogenesis in the adrenal cortex by blocking the action of 17-alpha hydroxylase and 11-beta hydroxylase, which catalyze at least six of the reactions in the biosynthetic pathways from cholesterol to hydrocortisol. Its imidazole structure, which is a ring comprising three carbon and two nitrogen atoms, allows it to combine with cytochrome P450 to prevent cortisol production. Etomidate thus inhibits the production of corticosterone, which is a precursor to aldosterone, and hydrocortisone. Immunosuppression when etomidate is given as an infusion. Studies show that mortality rates in intensive care patients were higher in those who have been sedated with a continuous infusion of etomidate due to impaired adrenal cortical function. Regarding adrenal cortical suppression after a single induction dose of etomidate, Impaired adrenal cortical function will follow even after a single induction dose of etomidate. Although the enzyme inhibition is reversible, it may persist for up to 8 hours. The significance of this is disputed. Thiopental, on the other hand, has no such effects. Excitatory phenomena Involuntary movements can occur in up to 40% of patients after induction of anesthesia, and it is reduced in patients given opiate pre-medication. Coughs and hiccups occur in up to 10% of patients. Pain on injection Pain on injection occurs when the propylene glycol formulation of etomidate is used and the incidence is up to 80% in situations where a small vein is used and it is less than 10% if injected into a large vein. To reduce the pain on injection, use a prior injection of IV lidocaine 10 mg or use lipid emulsion formulation, which has less than 4% incidence of pain on injection. The incidence of nausea vomiting approaches 30% for etomidate. Emergence phenomena such as severe restlessness and delirium can occur in recovery, and it occurs more commonly than with barbiturates or propofol. Venous thrombosis is more common than with other agents if the propylene glycol preparation is used. These are my references. Thank you.